this is Adam. How are you doing um, with America's Baseball Camps here today to kind of help you out a little bit uh, with your pitching delivery, talk about your mechanics, uh, point out some things, some positives and some negatives here. Uh, hopefully this might be able to help you out um, in furthering your uh, career in pitching if that's something you choose to do. So, <clears throat> excuse me, today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, from the uh, ready position here. Uh, which what I call the ready position anyways, and, and that's about right here, okay? Um, your setup is really good, uh, Malcolm. It's uh, nice and straight up and down. you got good posture here. Uh, your hands are in a good position, and uh, your eyes are on, on the target. So from, from the get-go, everything looks pretty good. Um, notice that when you, when you, when you do pitch, you, you take a side step. Um, as you can see here, if we go, take a little side step, which is really good. Um, that's something that I like to teach, actually. Um, it, uh, as well as, as a not going a real uh, back step here. So I do like the fact that you kind of step to the side. Um, everybody's a little bit different. It's not that it's right, that not that it's wrong, but um, I do prefer kind of the this, this side step. So I would stay with that. Just make sure that you're not getting too far away from this foot when you're taking that step. Uh, you want to make sure you, you, you kind of keep it nice and short and sweet uh, with that side step. I do like how that hip's starting to turn in right there, and that the reason why it's doing it is that because that's, that toe's turning in as well. Uh, so you're getting ready to come into your balance point, okay, which is right here. Um, and what you could kind of see here, and, and this is one of the main things I wanted to talk to you about with your delivery is, you could kind of see how you're tilted, okay. You're, you're kind of tilted into this direction. Um, you're leaning forward as you step to the side, okay. Um, if I rewind this a little bit here, okay, you kind of see you step to the side a little bit. And that could be caused because it's almost like you're stepping this way. Um, more in front than uh, than where with that with this foot, you might want to try to step a little bit more where it di directly to the side and not in front going this way because as you can see again, you start to lean a little bit forward and your upper body is is going to be tilted and, and you'll watch exactly what I mean by that. There it is right there. See your weight's really not on this back leg right here, which where it should be. It's kind of all over on this leg, and you're, again, you're kind of tilted forward a little bit. Um, and, 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 and you're doing that, actually, too, as you come up into, into your leg kick, as you can see. Okay, and this is a big no-no here. Um, the upper body should never really be, at this point, um, in front of the lower body. Okay, we want to try to get you a little bit, see where that's kind of funny how that pulls there, but that pull, wherever that pull is right there, that's where your head should be. You can see your head is really in front of your whole body here, okay. And what we call that is just your upper body getting ahead of your lower body, and it's it's just hard to keep your weight back that way when you go into a power position. And you can see there, again, there's that tilt, okay. So you're leaning forward quite a bit. There it is. You're still tilting forward just a little bit, and there's not there's never a, a point in your delivery where this upper body stays back and your lower body gets out in front of it um, okay you can kind of see again right there everything's going forward okay and that is going to be one of your main things that you're going to need to work on um, when you pitch okay uh, you're not getting a whole lot out of your legs as well in your delivery um, if I rewind you a little bit here you're, you're not getting a lot out of it because you're not keeping your weight back um, over the rubber um, as you should see right there into this position you know this up this head should probably still be where about right there and you can just see how far your head drifts and everything kind of just goes forward when you when, when you throw okay um, the next thing I wanted to kind of point out to you is be very careful with just how high I mean you can see how, how high you get your arm um, up and I know we always say hey you got to get your elbow up get your elbow up but you could really see like your 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 arm you know at this point gets really high your your elbow is almost above that shoulder um, and, and your arms kind of really get up in the air and um, it's good but you just want to kind of be careful with how far you do that you know you what we try to like to see what we want to really want to see is at at landing or close to landing you know that position wouldn't be too bad but we kind of want to just keep these oops, excuse me we kind of want to just keep these shoulders um, parallel, you know, nice and straight, um, kind of like this here, and then boom, more of a, more of more of a bend in the arm. Okay, something to this 
matter here, like something like this. You can see your arm, you're, you're really pointing your glove. And what I like to see, it's, it's okay to point your glove, but what I like to see is, is maybe just get a little bit more bend in this front elbow and use your elbow more kind of as a guide to where you're throwing the ball. Okay, so be very careful with that because what's going to tend to happen is you, you bring your hand, when you bring your hand down to the glove, you're going to see how far to it kind of wants to go behind your back. Okay, right here, and that's going to put a lot of pressure. See where that is? You're kind of showing the ball way back in here um, a little bit too much. It's going to put a lot of pressure on your, on your shoulder and your elbow. Okay, so just be careful with that when you're throwing the ball. Um, the other thing here is you can see um, before you land, what you're going to see here with you is if you watch your front foot, um, right there you're almost already turning your hips open and you haven't even landed yet. You've actually tried to pivot on that back foot and you haven't even landed yet. That's really not supposed to happen. Um, you're not supposed to really pivot. See how, how right there everything's open when you, la oops, excuse me, when you land? Okay. If we, re if we rewind a little bit, we want to get that foot landed first in, in that position, by the way, slightly closed. So you're not on the ground yet. But I like the foot that's closed there, but that's how you land. And then once you land, once you start to go, you'll see your foot open right there. And you land up on that toe. Okay, you're just pivoting your, your hips a little bit too early, and you're going to lose a lot of power that way, okay? Try to work on landing first and then pivoting, and then that backside's come up. That, by the way, is a positive great follow through. Um, I wish more kids did that. The back foot's up. Uh, this is beautiful right here with your back. Eyes are good. I mean, that the finish is great. Um, it's just how you get there. Might You might need a little work with how you get there. Um, and it looks like you have a decent size long legs, too. One of the other things I kind of notice is how short your stride is. You know, that's pretty short. Um, you know, it's okay to go ahead and, and uh, lengthen out your stride a little bit more. Now, the question is how we're going to do that. Well, with you, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, is using your backside a little bit more and not tilting and not, you're kind of what we call a tall and fall pitcher. Okay, you're not using your backside at all. Um, you're just kind of falling forward right there. And that's why that foot just plants a little bit too short. Okay, so lengthen out your stride. How you're going to do that is use your backside a little bit more um, in your pitch. Okay. Uh, the last thing here, if we, if we kind of keep going here in the landing part of it, that we'll tend to see is, you can see if I draw a straight line, let's see where, if I draw a straight line from this toe, oops, excuse me, where is it at, there's my pencil, if I draw a straight line from this toe down, there's, here's a straight line, okay, let's see where you land, okay, not bad, but you could kind of see just a little bit of a, of a, of an angle, okay, um, where you start from, in relation to where you start from on the rubber and where, where this front foot lands. Okay, so you got to be careful with that. Um, always try to work on, on a toe-to-toe -to -toe basis, straight line, so your body's not uh, working across itself, and then all of a sudden you got to compensate, and then again you tend to fly open a little bit um, when you do that. Okay, but great finish right there. Um, I know it's a lot of stuff going on in a short amount of time, um, but again, I think the main thing with you is, after watching this video a couple times, is again, learn how to keep your body, um, your upper body, over the rubber a little bit more before you go ahead and separate right there keep that head over the body a little bit more watch that tilt right there okay watch that tilt watch the tall and fall careful with that arm coming up way too high and then uh, go ahead and lengthen out your stride a little bit and I think that's going to help you out Malcolm alright so we'll talk to you soon hope all is well thanks for coming to camp